For over 40 years, Bill Choppa has been fixing things. His little repair shop in Burbank, California is stacked high with yesterday's technology. Much of it doesn't work, but most everything in here, Bill can fix. TV, stereo, phonograph, uh, 8-track, uh, uh, cassette decks, uh, toasters, hair curling irons, um, microwave ovens. Customers bring him just about anything. This guy's got a couple of projectors that don't work. Anything's worth fixing as long as you know you can get the part and it's, it's cheap enough. At 67, Bill Choppa is always working. He installs sound systems, TV antennas, he'll copy your home movies to a DVD or even sell stuff for you on eBay. And he does it all to fund his lifelong passion, his art. And I found this at an antique store and I had my dad's camera there. So, in the first rock I pulled out of the garden was perfect. It's like two people embracing. That's all I think about is, you know, I have work here all week so I could spend the weekend in the studio. As an artist, Choppa uses everyday objects to create social commentary. Uh, this piece is called Media Feeding Frenzy. Well, the media, you know, they just love it when somebody has a transgression, you know. Yeah. They just they just see it's the media feeding frenzy. You know, here's the trough of dirty clothes. You know, the chickens are, you know, pecking at it here. He's hatching the next story on flash bulbs. Bill Choppa is a child of the 50s. He learned early he could make most anything with his erector set. There was motors, there was gears, you could make things move. At 14, he made his first animated sculpture, and believe it or not, it still works. He remembers wanting to make a work of art that you could look at and it would look back at you. Since then, he's created over 100 pieces. This one's called the Spruce Goose 2. The propellers spin and it sounds like a real airplane. Others, more simple. This one's the Last Supper with Tupperware. How about this piece? He calls it Serial Killer. Much of his work has something important to say about politics, the economy, even religion. So you kind of use your art to make a statement. Um, yeah, there's always a message uh, for arguments for elimination of television. You know, it's kind of a political statement. Uh, the plain truth, you know, that's a lot about politics. The truth is being whittled away, you know, with those, those wood planes. I'm trying to find ways of getting people to see a different point of view. So, after all you've learned, what would you say is the secret to happiness? You know, I mean, it, doing what you want is what keeps you going. Yeah, that's the secret. I mean, to find out what you enjoy doing and then figure out how to do it.